In this video, I'm going to show you how to build Mumbo Jumbo's new bamboo farm that he built on Hermitcraft Season 7. These are all the materials that you're going to need, and you can pause the video accordingly. These are the materials in item form, and these correspond to the full size bamboo farm, not the smaller tutorial size. You're going to start with a line of nine droppers facing downward, four blocks above the ground, and with one block of space in between each one. That's what that should look like when you're done. Off of every single dropper, you're going to place two hoppers facing into each other, facing into the hopper. That's what you should have when you're done with that. And now you're going to take a stone brick block and place it on the side of every one of these droppers. Now you're going to take an observer and place it facing outward in that direction on every single one of these blocks. There you go. Now they have that. You're going to take three slabs and place it underneath these blocks and two out on all of these modules now. You're going to take a comparator and place it on the first block of every single one of these slab rows and it's going to be facing that way not set to subtract mode. Now that you have that you're going to place a redstone on the remaining slabs off of all these comparators. Now you're going to take another stone brick block like you had here and place it off of that redstone on all nine of these. Next you're going to take a sticky piston, place it on top of that block and have it face in that direction. And you're going to place it on all of these blocks. Then you're going to take an observer and place it on the sticky piston facing outward on all nine of these and you're going to have to place two of them like that or a block in between before you can place the observer in the correct position. Now that you have that you can go ahead and place a stone brick block on every single one of these first hoppers here on all nine modules. Now you're going to want to place a slab in between all the gaps here for all nine of these modules like this. Next you're going to place a stone brick block one block up off of all of these so that it alternates by going down up down up all the way across. Now you're going to take redstone dust and place it across all the tops of these alternating blocks here. Now in the very middle module here, you're going to take a stone brick block and place it right there, like that, on top of that dropper. Then you're going to place a repeater right here set to the one tick setting. Then you're going to place a block up here, and you're going to have redstone on it, and you're going to place a button on the side of that block. And then you're going to have a slab with another block on top of another stone brick block, and then you're going to have two slabs out, and then another block. You're going to have a button here, and two pieces of redstone there. And then you're going to go over here, you're going to place a slab, and you're going to go up a block in that direction, and you're going to go up a block in that direction, and place redstone on all of those blocks. Now you're going to go one block out diagonally, but on the same level as this block, and place one obsidian block there. Then you're going to have one normal piston off of that redstone facing in that direction. Now off of this obsidian, you're going to have seven pieces of slime. You're going to have seven slime blocks like that and then a normal block on the end. And then off of this first slime block you're going to get one sticky piston and have it face inward into that slime like that and then you're going to get eight additional slime blocks and place them in a row like this and then one final just stone brick on the end. And then over here you're going to get another sticky piston, place it on the side of that and have it face in that direction. On top of this slime block you're going to have an observer facing outward like that and over here on this slime block you're going to have an observer facing outward like that. Now off of this row of hoppers and slabs you're going to go out 10 additional blocks with slabs. Okay this is 10 blocks in a row like that. Then you're going to put a redstone block at the end of this row here and then you're going to fill this redstone block line all the way to the end here so that it extends the entire width of the farm. Now you're going to want to fill in this entire gap here from this end all the way in here with slabs. Once you have that all filled in, you have a choice as to how long you want to make this farm, because now it's completely up to you. Mumbo's farm is five of these modules long. It's one, two, three, four, five, like that. Each one of those modules is 11 blocks. It's 10 blocks of slabs and one block of redstone blocks in a line. So we're not gonna be making this the same size for the tutorial, I'm going to make it a different size so that you can see how it's done. So we only want this to be two modules long. We already have one, so what we're going to do is go out an extra 10 blocks in this direction and then have a row of redstone blocks. And then I'll show you what you do at the very end for it. And I'll also explain what else you have to do to make it longer or shorter. And it's all very simple and modular. As you can see here, we now have two of these modules. And if you want this to be the same size as Mumbo's farm, you would repeat this module step three times with three additional platforms 10 blocks long plus a strip of redstone blocks one block wide but for this we are not going to be doing that so when you want to end your farm you're going to take one more row of slabs and place it all along the edge here and on this final block you're going to have 
an actual solid block like that. Now you're going to place a powered rail right here and then you're going to run normal rails on all the slabs until you get to redstone blocks and then you're going to place a powered rail on the redstone blocks. Then you're going to take these rails all the way down until you get to a redstone block and when you end a line, when you get to the end of the farm, you're going to place two normal rails there and then a powered rail on top of that redstone block and then you're going to go back the direction that you came including that powered rail and then you're going to go to the end here and then when you place a normal rail there this will change the orientation of this powered rail you'll have to break and replace it so that it lines up correctly but now you must place a normal rail here before you place in the next powered rail because if you don't if you place in the powered rail right away that will change the orientation of that and that will have to be fixed you'll have to break and replace that so you have to start by placing another rail there then you can place the powered rail and repeat the same process over again and you're going to do this until you get to the very last row of blocks. And that is when something slightly different happens. And I will show you how to do that then. Now at the very end here, you're going to place a normal rail there and then a powered rail. Then you're going to go down the line here, have a powered rail go down the line until you get to here and then place one final powered rail. This minecart will just bounce when it hits here and go back the way it came, it will not loop around. Now is a good time to place in the minecarts with hoppers and you can place one on every single powered rail like that. Next, you're going to start by placing a line of dirt here above those minecarts with hoppers, and it's going to go the entire length of the farm. Now, this is going to be extended down as far as your farm is long until you reach the very end here. And it's going to stop on these power drills. You don't need to put the dirt over all this. This is going to stop here, then it's just going to be completely filled in. That's all going to be filled in with dirt, or you could use grass as well. But this dirt just needs to extend until it reaches the final row of redstone blocks. Now that you have your dirt or grass platform in, you're going to go to the very middle of this farm. You're going to go two blocks out and one block up, and that's going to be an obsidian block. Then you're going to take one observer and it's going to face in that direction. And then right next to it, you're going to have a normal piston facing outward. Then you're going to take six slabs, place them in a two by three formation like that. You're going to get two repeaters there, two repeaters there. They're going to face like that. Then you're going to have redstone. And these are all going to be set to four ticks just like that. Now you're going to go one block up diagonally from this dirt and you're going to place a line of sea lanterns running the entire length of the farm until you get to the very end. And you're going to repeat this on both sides of the farm. Now that you have sea lanterns on the sides, you're going to go to the very middle of the farm. In this first block, you're going to have a sea lantern and then you're going to have four blocks between that and another sea lantern. So technically every four blocks of gap, you're going to have a sea lantern or every fifth block will be a sea lantern until you reach the end of the farm. And if it doesn't line up perfectly at the end, that is okay. But with Mumbo's farm, the size of it will line up at the end. So from this hopper, you're going to build downward with glass and or some other type of block. It doesn't have to be glass, but we're just going to use it because it looks nice. And you're going to build this all the way out over until you get to this hopper here at the end of this farm. Now you're going to come out diagonally block here and go up for four blocks like that, it's gonna be a two by four thing, so eight additional blocks, you're gonna do that on this side as well. Then you're gonna go out two blocks here, and then you're gonna have a line of slabs connecting both sides of this collection system. In the middle here, you're gonna break three blocks like this, it's gonna be three wide, it's one on this side, one on this side, and the middle block under the slabs. You're gonna do that all the way to the end here. Now you can place in double chests, like this, filling this gap for two blocks out of the three. Now they have a row of double chests, you can place a row of hoppers facing into those double chests. Then you can place water along the entire back wall of this collection area, and that part is done. The only thing left for you to do with this farm is to place in the bamboo. You're gonna place one piece of bamboo on every single dirt or grass block in your farm. And once you've done that, it's ready for it to be harvested once it grows. With our bamboo now in place and already starting to grow, we are almost done with the tutorial. However, you need to place one repeater set to one tick there, which I forgot to place in earlier. Now, the tutorial part is actually done, and I am just going to do a demonstration now. However, before I harvest, I'm going to change the tick setting to 200 so that it grows fast, and I get it about half grown, so we actually have a decent sized harvest. Okay, that is now about half grown, and now if we want to harvest everything, we can push this button here. That will send out the flying machines and the minecarts. As you can see, both are going and the minecarts are already returning and they will begin unloading items now. All the items will dump down here and we'll start going into these chests. And as you can see, the flying machine is returning from up here and 
The reason that there is an extra button here is so that you can send off just the minecarts if you want to because obviously many items are not picked up yet. So if you push that, that will just send off the minecarts and you can see the items getting scooped up and the minecarts will return and they'll be much fuller. As you can see now it is unloading all of them extremely quickly and noisily. As you can see now everything is done unloading, there's bamboo in all these chests here, there's a about a stack or two of bamboo. If you want to see more with this farm, you can check the description down below for a world download link and download this world for yourself where you can go see it and if that will help you build it, then you can do that. And also, if you found this tutorial useful or informative, then consider leaving a like and subscribing with notifications on. It'd really help the channel and I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if there's something you think I can improve on or fix or do better, then be sure to comment down below. And I always read all my comments and take advice from them. Also, feel free to come join my public Discord. The link will be down in the description and you can come hang out with us there. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. I've been Speve. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Bye!